students now we are going to solve important problems in uniform plane waves in good conductor so before going to solve the problems let's discuss important formulas used in good conductor for a good conductor the ratio sigma by omega epsilon is far greater than 1 this is the condition for good conductor that is the conductivity sigma is far greater than omega epsilon so here examples are copper aluminium etc so the first important formula is propagation constant for a good conductor the attenuation constant is equal to phase shift constant so here we can represent gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta alpha is the attenuation constant its formula is square root of pi f mu sigma so its unit is neper per meter for phase constant its value is same as that of the attenuation constant but the unit is radian per meter okay so the next one is intrinsic impedance for a good conductor medium so here it is represented as eta is equal to square root of omega mu by sigma with an angle 45 degree its unit is ohm okay so here omega is nothing but 2 pi f okay so next one is velocity of propagation v is equal to omega by beta so here 1 by beta that is also known as del del represents the skin depth of the good conductor medium so here del is nothing but 1 by beta or 1 by alpha for good conductor so it can be represented as 1 by square root of pi f mu sigma so that is the formula for alpha its unit is meter then the wavelength lambda lambda is equal to 2 pi by beta that can also be represented as 2 pi 1 by beta is the skin depth that is del okay so its unit is meter okay Let's solve one important problem here. A 1.8 kilohertz wave propagates in a medium characterized by mu r is equal to 1.6, epsilon r is equal to 25, and sigma is equal to 2.5 Siemens per meter. The electric field in the region is given by E vector is equal to 0.1 E power minus alpha z cos of 2 pi f t minus beta z. a x bar volt per meter determine the attenuation constant phase shift constant nature of the medium intrinsic impedance phase velocity skin depth and the wavelength of the given wave okay so here we are going to find out all the characteristics of the given wave before that we have to find out what kind of medium is this okay from the given data so in the solution part first we have to write the given data frequency f is equal to 1.8 kilohertz that is 1.8 into 10 to the power plus 3 hertz okay then the relative permeability mu r is equal to 1.6 the relative permittivity epsilon r is equal to 25 sigma is equal to 2.5 siemens per meter so given electric field is e vector okay so first we are going to find out what kind of medium is the given electric field so for that we can take this last tangent value that is the ratio sigma by omega epsilon so sigma by omega epsilon is equal to sigma by omega is nothing but 2 pi f epsilon not epsilon r okay then we can substitute the values of sigma that is 2.5 and f here it is 1.8 into 10 to the power 3 epsilon not value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 that is the constant value epsilon r is 25 then we can get the sigma by omega epsilon ratio is 9.986 into 10 to the power 5 so this value is far greater than 1 so when the ratio sigma by omega epsilon is far greater than 1 then the given medium is a good conductor so this is the condition for good conductor so here 
we are going to use the formulas for good conductor first we are going to find out the attenuation constant and phase constant for a good conductor attenuation constant is equal to the phase shift constant the formula is square root of pi f mu sigma so here this mu is nothing but mu not mu r so mu not is the constant value its value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu r is 1.6 sigma value is 2.5 f value is 1.8 into 10 to the power 3 then we can simplify this term using the calculator then we can get the alpha and beta value as 0 0.1686 so but for attenuation constant its unit is Nepper per meter for phase constant its unit is radian per meter okay so next one is intrinsic impedance so eta is equal to square root of omega mu by sigma with an angle 45 degree so omega is 2 pi f mu as mu naught into mu r then we can substitute all the values here square root of 2 into pi into f value is 1.8 10 to the power plus 3 because it is kilohertz okay so next mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu r is 1.6 divided by sigma value is 2.5 then we can get the answer as 0 0.09537 with an angle 45 degree its unit is ohm do you all understand this one so next one is phase velocity that is bp is equal to omega by beta so omega is 2 pi f then we can substitute all the values here beta is 0 0.1686 then simplify all the terms we can get the answer as 67.32 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second so this is the phase velocity and then the skin depth that is del is equal to 1 by alpha so 1 by alpha means attenuation value is 1 by 0 0.1 1686 so it can be represented as 1 by alpha or 1 by a beta for a good conductor okay then we can get the skin depth as 5.931 meter finally the wavelength for the given wave is equal to 2 pi by beta substitute the beta value as 0 0.1686 the wavelength is 37.4 meter okay you will understand this problem so the next one is calculate the skin depth for medium with the conductivity 100 mo per meter so conductivity can be represented with either siemens per meter or mo per meter okay and mu r is equal to 2 epsilon r is equal to 3 and 1 megahertz so in this problem they have given us mu r epsilon r and sigma values then we can use the formula skin depth del is equal to 1 by square root of pi f mu sigma. Okay, we can directly substitute all the values here. Then pi into frequency is 1 megahertz. So 1 mega means 1 into 10 to the power 6 into mu can be represented as mu naught into mu r. Mu naught is the constant value 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and mu r value is 2 into the conductivity is 100 then we can get the answer as del is equal to 0 0.0356 meter